Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're all here. Today is kind of a really cool overview video. I wanted to spend a little time on this knife. Um, first, I wanted to say thank you to all the channel members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to anyone who's coming through watching the content, checking it out. I appreciate you more than you know. If you get a chance and you're so inclined, if you'd hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon, it would really help me out. I'd appreciate it and you'll be notified when I release new videos. So guys, this is a knife that I became aware of on the Instagrams because it's a production model of a custom knife maker that I follow and I've followed for a while. Wear Knives, W-E-H-R. Fantastic U.S. maker who makes some of the finest, most ornate, beautiful folders um, that, are, that are imaginable. Um, so when I saw that he had this production project going, the Alley P, it had kind of got my attention. But long story short, as many knives as come around and go around, I'd kind of forgotten about it. And then I was on Instagram and saw that the drop had happened, went over to the site, and they were still in stock. They are still in stock when I'm releasing this video. Um, I just was blown away by the look of the knife. We'll talk about what I think about the knife and some potential negatives to you guys, depending on what size knives you like. But this is a production model of the Alley. The Alley is one of his custom designs, Wear Knives Custom Designs. And this to me is almost a perfect replica um, of the Alley. I've, I've seen it at a show before. Um, it is a, a beautiful little knife. And this production model that was done by Best Tech was done exceptionally well. You know, I think a couple of things come together when you get a production knife that's executed successfully. A, the company, the OEM, are they able to execute what the design that's been submitted to them? And then how good is the design that is being submitted, right? That's kind of what brings it all together. So this is a knife that Wear Knives was always on my ra radar as a fan, as someone who loved to look at the knives on Instagram, but just they were kind of out of my price point in a big way. Um, so this little knife, if you like, a, and I'm going to quote Christine, women carry knives here, a medium size knife, which is kind of a small medium, um, this is a, an absolute winner. So I'm going to talk about real quickly kind of the features, do a couple of size comparisons, cut something, we'll weigh it, and I'll probably forget one of those things. But it is the version that I got because it was the last remaining model that had a satin blade. I wanted a satin blade, a hand satin, but you can get this knife either in straight titanium, titanium with the micarta inlay, you can go to A to Z EDC's page. My local buddy picked up one with the micarta inlay. He got the satin because he got, got in on it earlier. But really nice micarta inlays. I liked this with the black um, clip, the black pivot collar, and the black uh, thumb studs. You've got this nice hollow ground blade that I think looks very, very nice. It's got some very tight, nice jimping here on the spine. It's got a very well done sharpening choil and it fits my hand like a dream. I like the swedge up here. Um, it's a frame lock. I have not yet put skiffs in it, so it's got factory bearings and I can reverse finger flick it. I can thumb flick it with ease and it's just a joy to deploy. That kind of rhymes, right? I'm not even a rapper. But let's try cutting some paper real quick with it. I should have had my paper ready, guys. Very slicey. Very smooth. And again, I look at this kind of as that gentleman's folder that could get stuff done. Um, I mainly open packages and do EDC tasks, which aren't usually hard use. I carry a 
Fixie with me, which will usually do those harder tasks. And these are all cutter airs, guys. This knife slices through paper like butter. It's got a great tip, detailed tip for a utility cut. That tip is very downward facing. Um, Warncliffe, or you call it a sheep's foot style. But the alley, again, being a classic custom design that I just found amazing, made me really want to jump on this. So you've got this titanium handles, you've got an M390 satin blade. I think the satin are still available. I know Stonewash is available in a lot of different variations. Um, and again, just a knife that I kind of took a chance on because I had been a fan of wear knives and their custom knives, especially the Alley, which is a knife that's probably one of his more popular designs. And I think this is a one and done run if you read what he posted on his Instagram, which, you know, it's not going to be a mass produced knife. I don't think you're going to see this coming out a lot. And uh, I wanted to bring it to you guys in case it was something that interested you. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons. Let's look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max with the Satu Dave Smoke and Regrind. And let's look at it next to a Civivi Baby Banter. So as you guys can see, it's much closer to the Baby Banter than it is to the 4 Max. Let's look at it next to a Benchmade Bug Out. And the Spider Cool Paramilitary 2. So as you guys can see, it's going to be right in that range, handle and blade, of our Benchmade bug out, right? I might say it's going to be a little bit smaller. Um, we'll do some size comparisons. I don't think it's going to be mini bug out size. I think it's going to be a good bit larger than the mini bug out, which it is. So it kind of splits the difference between the mini bug out and the bug out, but in actuality, Looking at them here, they're just about the same size, and it's just a, a tad smaller than the, uh, than the bug out. So let me get the tape measure, the Javon promotional tape measure that bit the dust and was replaced by an Amazon tape measure that I put the same Javon sticker on that I read just as badly. But the good news is the link that I'll leave to Wear Knives' website, if you go to the his Shopify page where he's got these listed, um, it'll have all the dimensions actually. So it's seven and a quarter inches long. I measured the blade at, we'll say three inches. Cutting edge at right a hair under three inches. The handle right under, right at four and a quarter. And where I grab it, which is right here, I've got a medium to large size hand, but four inches takes you to the back of the handle here. So that's where I grip it to do my cuts. Again, I haven't put it through the ringer. I have, let me put it in my pocket. I have been, goes in and out of pocket like a dream really well done titanium clip um, again just a, a fantastic knife they do make a timascus kit for this i couldn't quite justify it even though it looked really really good um, they've got beautiful timascus clips and backspacers and hardware and studs but it adds a considerable amount if you get the timascus um, kit as you might imagine but guys wear knives is a custom maker and he is what i consider to be a premium custom maker and when this drop came out again i grabbed it after the fact i wasn't there when they dropped so i didn't get to get my number one choice three and a half ounces is how much she weighs but I was glad to be able to get in on it, and I wanted to do this video sooner than later, and I'll do a long-term review on this, but I wanted to do it sooner than later so I could bring it to you guys. I'm just going to get you the blade stuck. 
0.138. The handle is contoured, nicely contoured, right under a half inch, 0.49. We know there's no need for me to get an edge uh, measurement for you guys because I won't get it right. But again, it's just a uh, snappy little knife um, for people who like smaller size knives. I'll give you a couple of uh, just knives that happen to be around here, kind of flex knives that I just recently got in. The McNeese 3.5. The Mr. Mr. Cipher, much bigger or smaller than that. Let's see how, what I'm carrying today is the Devo Buzz, which will also be coming. But again, that gives some of you guys the, the idea of the, the overall size of the little Alley P by Wear Knives. And the P is for production. And the alley is, again, a popular custom design that I always thought looked really beautiful. Um, very, very sterile. I just missed that reverse flick. A very sterile um, appearance. You only have the Wear Knives Maker's Mark and the real small M390. Everything else is just clean. It's just a really clean little package. I could highly recommend it if someone's looking for this type of knife or if you've been looking at the wear custom knives and wanted to get something at a, you know a considerably lesser price again it's much higher price than a lot of things there in the market but it's a limited run that's done exceptionally well by an absolutely masterful builder um, wear knives so I'm stoked to have it I'm stoked to bring it to you guys. I hope you guys find it interesting. Leave me a comment. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know your feelings. I'll keep releasing some of this content every day. Um, and I'm keeping it mixed up. But if you guys have something that you'd like to see or you're more interested, I'm just kind of taking you along with me on my weird knife journey, right? So I'm buying stuff that I like that... I just want to share with you guys because I think it's cool and I would recommend it to someone who also looked at it and thought it was cool. Just a really cool little clean, elegant, I use that word way too much, folder. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you channel members. I want to just ask all of you to please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.